Alright, good night everyone. This is CY once again. If you have your first time joining my channel, my channel is all about having fun making coffee. Today we're gonna do a uh, coffee roasting. Uh, recently we have uh, we have been approached by the Singapore Coffee Association uh, to help them do some sampling roasting. And today we're gonna roast uh, their micro lot auction 2021, which is the lot 56. This lot 56 is actually the beans from Myanmar, right? According to this description, right? Um, this is actually in the Maya Tazin Iron region. I hope I get the spelling correct. And the production year is 2019 and 20. Uh, Arabica beans. The origin is from Yangan or Southern Shan states. Of Myanmar, uh, it's a fully washed uh, arabica beans, and according to the carving score is eighty seven point three three. The tasting note is blackberry and cherry, sweet, balanced, mellow, and bright tart, and syrupy, vibrant. So we're gonna roast this batch of coffee beans. Okay, first let's weigh the coffee beans and see how heavy this batch is. I'll try to preserve the packaging as much as I can. Oh, my mistake. The, the crop year is actually 2021 and not 2019-20. Um, the plantation scale is about seven, 770 hectares and the elevation is between 1580 to about 1730 meters. Um, the carving score is 85.75 right anything above 80 is considered as specialty grade so let's try to see how heavy this bag is the way they packed the sampling packaging is really packing really well right I will try to control myself using right because as you know I'm a teacher so um, I always try to get assurance and confirmation affirmation from my students when I'm teaching them hence therefore my uh, I'm very used to uh, asking students whether they are following me so therefore um, I always use uh, right to seek for confirmation from student to see whether they can understand so please bear with me uh, sometimes I just can't help it uh, but I'll try to control it okay this bag is pretty hard to cut open as I'm trying to preserve the packaging uh, I'll try not to cut into the bag okay so mm, okay so this is actually the packaging coffee lamp right so let's try this it's going to weigh more than 300 grams and every 300 gram, I'm going to get about 250 grams, which is about half a pound. So that's what I'm aiming for. So I will just go ahead and roast about uh, 300 grams first. Uh, by the way, we are using the uh, M10 Sniper Pro. This is a very good roaster for sampling roasting. It can roast all the way up to 1 kg. Right. If you have, uh, sorry about that again. If you have been, if you have seen other roasters that's about one kg in size, right? You can never see uh, something so small, except uh, the bullet R one, right? So that's the only one that is probably around the same size as the M10 Sniper Pro. So now it measures three hundred gram. Uh, let me check my temperature. The temperature now is perfect. My charge temperature is about one hundred eighty five. 
normally uh, at this elevation I would write I would like to charge at a slightly higher than normal which is uh, normally I charge 180 degrees Celsius but for this bin I'm going to charge at 180 85 degrees Celsius and my plan is I'm going to let the bin soak the heat for about one minute and after that I will increase the heat to about um, 30 percent then I will see the ROR because I want to keep uh, the state whereby the beans are turning from green to yellow uh, to about four, three point five to about four minutes, which means uh, from green all the way to yellow, including the uh, soaking time, will take about five minutes. And after that, uh, I will allow slower development of the beans. And uh, since we are roasting for espresso, we will be doing a slightly longer developmental time so that the rows will be slightly over the medium medium side right so that's what we are targeting today for this batch of uh, lot 56 which is the bin from Myanmar and we are fully using the manual control uh, on the uh, M10 Sniper Pro we are not going to use the auto rows function we are just going to use the manual so uh, when you start make sure that the air temperature is about the, the temperature that we set which is 185 and the bin temperature should be somewhere around there as well so let's get started so let's reset the curve always remember you have to uh, start the time otherwise you won't be able to see the rate of rows which is commonly known as RR so let's get ready so I'll be starting the time I'll switch off the heater and I'll drop the beans. And now we will allow the bean to soak for about a minute. We have just passed the half a minute mark. Forty five seconds. I can see the air temperature is starting to drop. Now the air temperature is about one hundred and seventy degrees. Uh, the turning point has already been reached. One minute now, so now I'm going to increase the heat to thirty percent, and I'm going to watch the hour. Hour. I will try to keep the rate of rolls to be below ten. On the M10 sniper, the rate of rolls is counted as every half a minute, uh, how many degrees Celsius. So if you have an hour of seven, which means that you increase seven degrees Celsius, uh, in every thirty seconds, right? So now we are looking at about seven, which is pretty good. We don't want the RR to be too high. Okay, now it has jumped to about 11. Uh, which means to say that it's going to increase about 20 degrees Celsius in one minute. That's a bit too fast. So I'm going to slow it down. There are two ways to slow down the real growth. One way is to cut down the power. And the other way you can, you can actually vent out the exhaust air. So that the exhaust air will draw the heat and that controls the heating temperature. So now I'm going to increase the exhaust because it's rising too rapidly. I'm going to increase the exhaust to 60% and try to bring down the real growth. Remember our target is to reach about 140 to 150 degrees Celsius in about um, 4 minutes. Let, let's reduce the power further. Let's check the status of the bin. Some bin has already started to turn yellow. 
very very light yellow Now I've managed to bring the aura out down to about 7. I'm going to increase the fan speed slightly higher. I want the aura to drop a little bit more. Of course, the reason why it is rosing faster is also because of the batch of the beans is smaller in, in, in mass. Uh, this batch of beans is only about 300 grams. So it will, it will, it will absorb, uh, the, it will be easier for the heat to get into the things. Okay, let me show you the things. The color has changed from yellow to brown. We are hitting at about slightly over 4 minutes and 45 seconds. You can see the color changes now. It is now slightly darker brown. We'll just hit 5 minute mark. I should be hearing the first crack. The first crack started at 5 minutes 40 seconds. Since we are going to have uh, espresso uh, rolls, so I will go slightly darker. We are looking at about 6 minutes and 40 seconds, and roughly that will also happen when the bean temperature reaches about 200 degrees Celsius. See the color changes again. I can start to smell the the, the fragrance of the coffee bean roasted. Now it's 200 degrees Celsius. We we'll wait for another five seconds, and we will drop. And immediately when you drop, we're going to cool it. The smell is good, the smell is good. And now let me pull on my mask. The rose is very, very, very even.
you can see the beams again. I'll be definitely getting a cooling tray even though this is fast enough but because we didn't roast uh, we only roast about 200 gram the bin doesn't cover the air vent so the cooling will be slightly slower as compared to uh, when you roast a bigger batter I'm going to close the cover because we're going to continue to roll the second deck after this. to show you the quality of the rolls you can see the rolls is actually very very even right so that is our first batch of coffee bean uh, lot 56 the coffee bean from Myanmar so this is the first one and we're going to continue for the second video so stay tuned for the second batch which is going to be, uh, let me find out what am I going to roast the next one. Okay, maybe the next match I'm going to roast a lot 27. So this will be the next video, right? I will be telling you what is this lot, or where does this copy bin from, and what is the tasting on this. Thank you for joining me. This is CY once again. Let me see all the fan, right? You can see the fan is actually very loud because there are actually four fans on the M10 Pro. Two in front that draws the air out in this way and there are two large fans at the back which draw the air out the other direction. So it's basically drawing cool air to the top and pulling all the hot air out from all the exhaust fans. So thank you for joining me today. Remember to subscribe and like my videos and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe and see you very soon.